Joe, first we're left out of the voter guide. Now we're left out of the game. So typical. Hi, I'm David Soika, owner of Money Mailer. Money Mailer and CME360 are bringing to you the candidates for city council and mayor in a spirited competition. Let's go meet the candidates. All right, listen up, candidates. I want a good, clean game. Here are the rules. If the bag goes in the hole, that is three points. If the bag lands on the board, that is one point. I want everyone to be respectful and social distance. Ready? Game on. Whoa! Thank you so much, Phil, for joining us. Yeah, my pleasure. I heard a, a rumor that, that you're actually a singer. I, I am. I actually grew up in the church singing quite a bit. I was a uh, in choir from when I was 13 years old. My mom was actually the choir director. And so grew up all throughout my, my childhood singing in, in choir there. And then actually when I went to college, I was in the university chorus there. Um, and then while I was in college, I learned to, to play guitar just so I could accompany my own voice. And so now it's uh, more of a hobby than anything else. I don't get a chance to sing in a big choir anymore, but I still love singing and it's something that's part of my life. What university? I went to UC Davis. UC Davis? Yeah, yeah, Aggies. Go Aggies. Go Aggies, yeah. Go Aggies. <laughs> now, See, for me, myself, I have a, I have a shower voice. Okay. <laughs> so I, I sound good when I'm in the shower. Yeah. What made you decide to run for city council? Yeah, that's a million dollar question. And, um, you know, change is not a good thing or a bad thing. It just is. And um, I feel like you either choose change or change is thrust upon you. And I feel like change has been thrust upon us as a city in a lot of different ways. Um, and I, I feel like we have not responded to that, those changes in a way that will set us up for success in the future. And so, you know, whether it's uh, housing changes, the way people shop is totally different than the way it used to be. And now, of course, with coronavirus, we have all these major changes that are facing us. And I think we need to be more flexible and adaptable to make sure the city is surviving and thriving in the future. Elaine, it's a pleasure to have you here. Well, it's, I'm glad to be here as well. Thank you. Now, a little birdie told me that you're actually a professional harpist. That is correct. I have played the harp for, I, I don't tell people how long now because it makes me sound older, but it's taken me from Carnegie Hall with Royal High School to several recordings with some great people. In fact, I played the harp for fun people's weddings and I play the symphony and yeah. That is something not a lot of people do. Well, it has been my ticket to get to some very beautiful, nice places. You'd be surprised some of the, the places I've visited because I play the harp. I can imagine. Now, you are on the city council and what is inspiring you to run again? You know, it has been a wonderful opportunity this last year and a half when I was appointed. And I just see the potential. There's just so many things happening in the city that, that could be materialized. And I just, it, it's a beautiful city and we need to keep it that way. But we need to help it grow appropriately and, with, and help our businesses with this COVID stuff. We've got to get people back to work and that's the first priority of the city. But so, and I'd love to be part of that process. And so that's why I'm running. TJ, it's a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you. You're actually a football coach, is that correct? I have coached here in Simi, you know, uh, raising three kids, possibly four. Uh, my time has gone away, so it's all about the kids now. And, and in this park is where I coach for the NFL flag football, or I have coached uh, my son's team uh, a number of years, so yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Possibly four? It's a negotiation, David. It's all about the negotiating. <laughs> we'll see. Speaking of negotiating, you're actually running for city council. I am. What inspired you and what made you want to enter this race? You know, it's, it's really not a me thing. It's a we thing, Dave. Um, I just see what's happening to our town and what's happening at our meetings. And I felt like 
voices weren't being heard and I felt like I could get in there and fix things and be your voice and be everybody's voice, not just one voice. Uh, when you hear things about people wanting to run and defund our police, that's something I can't have. I live down the street with my family and I'm, I'm not going to let that stuff happen to our town. So I felt like with my background and my education, I could help and I have been helping on the sidelines and I just felt like I had to run. I didn't have a choice. I've never played this before. Have you? <laughs> Watch and learn. <laughs>